Before you get started, please read the instruction manual thoroughly. Refer to the manual for the complete list of required tools and supplied hardware. If any parts are missing or damaged, contact customer service by calling 1-888-333-1376 to have the parts sent directly to you. Select a TV interface. If your TV has a 100 by 100, 200 by 100, or 200 by 200 millimeter hole pattern, use a smaller interface. For larger TVs with hole patterns up to 450 millimeters wide by 400 millimeters long, use a larger interface. The remaining installation steps apply to both the large and small interfaces. Step 1. Attach the TV brackets to the back of your TV. This step only outlines standard configurations. If you have a special application, contact customer service. To begin, determine the screw diameter your TV requires by hand threading a screw into the insert on the back of the TV. If you encounter any resistance, stop and select another screw diameter until you have the correct size. The long screws should only be used with spacers or they could crack the TV case or damage your TV's internal components. If your TV has a flat back, position the TV brackets on the back of the TV and ensure they are level. Thread the short bolt through the appropriate flat washer, followed by the TV bracket, and finally into the TV. Tighten the bolt with a Phillips screwdriver. If your TV has an irregular back, first determine which spacer size your installation requires. Then push the shoulder washer through the TV bracket opening and snap the washer into the spacer. Position the TV brackets on the back of the TV and ensure they are level. Thread the long bolt through the appropriate flat washer into the TV bracket, followed by the shoulder washer and spacer, and finally into the TV. Tighten the bolt with a Phillips screwdriver. If you are using the larger interface, center the connector bracket between the two TV brackets, laying it flat against the back of the TV with the locking tab facing up. Insert the tube assemblies through the TV and connector brackets. Using the appropriate hex key, tighten the fasteners in the carriages. Only tighten the fasteners until the tube assemblies cannot move. Step two, attach the arm assembly and wall plate to the wall. To get the exact drill location for your desired TV height, visit the Simplicity website to use the mount wizard. Please note, after installation, when the mount is in the home position, it will shift 3.75 inches in either direction from the center of the TV. Keep this in consideration when choosing an installation location. If you are installing your mount on a wall with wood studs, start by ensuring any drywall or other wall covering material does not exceed 5 eighths of an inch in thickness. Then use an electronic stud finder to locate and mark a stud. At this time, it's a good idea to verify the stud location with an all or thin nail. Taking into consideration the overall size of your TV, hold the wall plate against the wall to verify the correct height for your mount. Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall before marking the three hole locations with a pencil. After you have marked the hole locations, use a 7 32nd inch drill bit to drill the three hole locations to a depth of three inches. Attach the wall plate using the three lag bolts and lag bolt washers. Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall. Tighten the bolts with a socket wrench. Do not over tighten the bolts. If you're installing your mount on a concrete wall, never drill into the mortar between blocks. Start by ensuring the solid concrete thickness is eight inches or more and the concrete block size is eight by eight by 16 inches or larger. Then hold the wall plate against the wall to verify the correct height for your mount, being sure to take the overall size of your television into consideration. Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall before marking the three hole locations with a pencil. After you have marked the hole locations, use a 3 8 inch masonry drill bit to drill the three hole locations to a depth of three inches. Using a hammer, gently tap a lag bolt anchor into each of the three holes. Attach the wall plate using the three lag bolts and lag bolt washers. Tighten the bolts with a socket wrench. Do not over tighten the bolts. Step three, attach the TV to the arm assembly. Please note, before proceeding, 
Verify the wall plate and TV brackets are firmly fixed to the wall and the back of the TV respectively. Orient the arm assembly so the elbow is pressed against the wall. Tighten the tension adjustments in the arm assembly hinges to prevent any movement. With the help of an assistant, lift the TV and attach the TV connector bracket to the arm assembly head. Install the locking screw into the bottom of the arm assembly head and tighten with the appropriate hex key. Step 4. Adjust the TV position. If your TV does not appear perfectly level after mounting, use the appropriate hex key to loosen the bolts on the head of the arm assembly. Using a level, roll the TV clockwise or counterclockwise until it is square with its surroundings. Then, retighten the bolts to secure the TV in place. To adjust the up and down tilt tension, tighten or loosen the knob on the head of the arm assembly until you reach your desired up and down tension. To adjust the extend and retract tension, use the appropriate hex key to tighten or loosen the tension adjustments in the arm assembly hinges. Step 5. Install the cable management system. Extend the TV out from the wall. Thread the cable ties into the cable clips. Insert the cable clips into the holes on the arm assembly. Route your TV cables along the arm assembly, leaving enough slack to prevent stretching when the arm is moved. Secure the cables in place with the cable ties. Do not run cables through a pinch point. You are now ready to enjoy your newly mounted flat panel TV. Thank you for your interest in this Simplicity flat panel TV wall mount. If you have any problems with this product or have questions about installation, please do not return it to the store. Instead, contact customer service at 1-888-333-1376.